quick update while I'm doing my uh, wide lifting exercises wide weight lifting exercises not sure why we decided to do this but uh, the heat subsided and I'm in the shade as you can see behind my hotel I didn't do anything this morning so I'm doing something now before I head out and get some uh, some uh, raw probably fish for the for the dinner um, truck news so the truck is in the shop so they fixed the um, the problem with the dev uh, error messenger from what I understand uh, all three sensors uh, they were inside one tiny little body and that's also the sending unit as they call it and for some reason that sending unit was uh, was getting shorts when the def was at 50% or close to that so it was shorting out and the ECM on the truck could not get um, feedback from the sensors three sensors in the def tank temperature quality and level uh, at the proper intervals and that's why I was saying abnormal update rate so ECM was getting abnormal update rate and so they're fixing that and I was under the impression that my truck is uh, out of warranty but this guy says the SCI is covered in war by warranty the SCI repair and I said okay well if it's covered can you can you replace the two fenders how much will it cost and the guy says uh, let me find out and he says yeah these fenders will be about four hundred dollars Canadian for the pair and labor will take about four hours and I wrote him I said guys come on uh, I don't need the brackets the brackets are already installed there's only two screws on no four screws on each fender you you loosen those and the fender just slides out and then you attach the same brackets that are now on the fender attach them to the new fender and slide them in like why does that take four hours the guy replies uh, okay I went back to your truck and I checked your fenders uh, it's actually 42 fasteners he says don't forget you have a mud flap on the last one okay I forgot about that one so he says yeah it'll take three hours so I said what do you figure five thousand dollars he says oh no probably around eight or nine hundred Canadian I said well if only if the SCR repair the death tank was covered by warranty I give you the go-ahead for the fenders and the guy says okay and also they are fixing my uh, fuel tanks they were falling off as you might know uh, the sign was those uh, Waverly rubbers under the straps and I specifically came to them with very low level of fuel so that they don't have to take the tanks off and he says they are expecting these rubbers they're coming from London Ontario which is only one hour away so there you have it so that's the status so the uh, SCR problem fixed now they're working on the fenders and um, and the rubber straps and also ask them to get me a small uh, catwalk to put behind the sleeper in front of the fifth wheel because I'm sick and tired of balancing myself there especially when the drive shaft is spinning very dangerous all right, let me show you again a couple of exercises I do here. Uh, if I could just put my camera somewhere. Where can I put my camera? Oh, maybe I can put it like this. Okay, I already did the push-ups. I did the bent row. And I did the squats. And squats I did with I don't have my kettlebell with me so I did squats with two with two um, with two plates so these were my uh, bent in bent row like this and then squats I did like this okay so now 
we're doing a high pool. High pool. Push-ups, push-ups, uh, bent row, squats, high pull. Yeah, just uh, one more exercise. My favorite because it's the easiest one. So each plate is 45 pounds, boys and girls, don't try this at home, especially when your parents are not at home, very dangerous. Forty-five pounds each plate. How did I do it last time? I don't remember. Wow. This feels pretty heavy. Up there, heavy boys and girls. Update on the truck and update on the marshal's uh, physical condition. Feeling good. <laughs>